Hello everyone. Today we will be learning the timer A up mode and polling concept. So we will begin this tutorial by creating a new project as always. I will give the name as timer A underscore up because we are studying up mode of timer A uh, I'll be using grace for this project it is initializing all the setup while it does so I'll tell you what we will we be doing Timer A has various modes and one of the modes is up mode. In up mode timer A counts to the value stored in CCR0 register that is the capture and compare register and it counts continuously from 0 to that value and then rolls over starts from 0 again and then counts again to the same value that is what is mode up mode mode 1 so we will start by configuring the oscillator we are a basic user as of now we will use the Pistol provided by Texas Instruments for this. Now this being done, we will see to it that the watchdog timer is stopped. And it is stopped by default. We need, needn't do this each and every time we set up unless we want to change the mode of watchdog timer. Watchdog can be used as a timer. but now we will select timer A0 it has three compare registers we will be using CCR0 for this activity we will enable the timer 0 A we will select the power user mode in that the counting mode has to be selected as up mode then we will select a clock as the clock source because I'll be generating one second delay you can generate any delay you want we want one second delay so this count should be 3 2 Actually, we will use the basic user mode for getting the count since we want uh, 1000 millisecond we will put in the value here and press enter. We don't want to enable the interrupt because we are not writing any ISR for this. We will be just polling in this particular experiment. Now, as you can see, the desired period is set to 1000 milliseconds, that is 1 second, and uh, time period is 1 second, time frequency is 1 hertz. So, this is all there is to the initializing part of the timer. Now that the timer is initialized, we will set up the ports. In this project, we will be displaying numbers from 0 to 9 after 1 second delay, 0, 1 second delay, then 1, then 1 second delay and so on and repeating this process indefinitely. Now I am using port 1 for this, 
I'll be using common cathode configuration common cathode 7 segment display for this purpose so in common cathode the cathodes are common that is the negative terminal so the common terminal will be grounded and if you want to light any of the segments you need to provide positive logic that is plus VCC so I'll configure the ports as output there are 8 pins required for this A for A, B, C, D, E, F, G and the dot on the 7 segment display you can skip the P1.7 part if you want and directly ground the dot but since I have no further use for that pin except then this part so I'll be using this for the 7 segment display so these are all output and uh, we can see in the power user mode that they are low output is set low by default we will save this once you have saved this file we'll open the main.c file in main.c file we'll write the main program for displaying the numbers since I won't be returning any value I'll change the type from int to void now we'll start with the code we want to loop forever so this is the infinite loop infinite for loop now we have already set port 1 as output now let's give an output on that port I have already written the port values corresponding to the digit on 7 segment display oh, it would be better if I just copy paste this code and explain you what's happening in this code rather than writing the entire code again so p1 out 0x3f this will make each and every segment on except the dot and the middle segment that is f now we'll check for the overflow flag timer aifg this flag is set whenever there is a rollover that is the maximum count in ccr zero register has been counted and uh, once the rollover takes place that is from maximum value of the, the counter that is ccr0 zero to 0 the timer a interrupt flag taifg will be set now once this is set we'll increment the number we have written the hex value for that and you have to manually clear the flag so that we can register the next interrupt and so on so forth so you are just changing the hex value so that the number on the seven segment display changes and uh, you are clearing the flag so that you can witness the next interrupt because if the interrupt flag is set then obviously you can't set it again if it is set if it is one it is one you won't see the difference if you get an interrupt again that is why you are making this flag clear when you find out that you have bought an overflow interrupt so this is the coding part using grace
डिटेल्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ टाइमर ए अप मोड एज वेल एज पोलिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इज गिवन ऑन माई ब्लॉग थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो होप इट वॉज इन्फॉर्मेटिव